Hello everyone. In this session of CCNA series, I will discuss about one of the most important topic in networking that is Ether Channel. Ether Channel is a link aggregation technology in which multiple physical port links are bundled or grouped together in one logical link. It is also known as LAC or Ether Trunk by other vendors such as Nokia and Huawei. So why do we need an ether channel? Let's take a physical, sorry, typical switch network with two switches interconnected by using a single 1G link. Now, with time, your users will grow and the traffic will increase and cross more than 1G. This will cause bottleneck between the ports on the switch. To avoid this bottleneck, you will increase the bandwidth by adding another 1G link. <laughs> But with STP running in the background, it will block the second link in order to avoid any layer 2 loops and only one link will be available for use. Which means only 1G will be available to use instead of having 2G. If the active link fails, when we need to wait for STP convergence time for the bottle uh, from the block link to come up, which in turn causes unnecessary delay. In order to avoid those limitations caused by STP, this is where Ether Channel comes into the picture. Ether Channel provides a way to prevent STP convergence from being needed when only a single port or cable failure occurs. Because uh, the switches treat the Ether Channel as a single interface with regards to STP. You can also assign up to 16 physical interfaces to an Ether Channel. But only eight interfaces will be active at a time. Let's look at some of the benefits of Ether Channel. There are several benefits to using an Ether Channel in our switched networks. It offers you increased bandwidth. Use Ether Channel and combine two or four links into one logical link. It will double or quadruple your bandwidth. For example, 300 megabit fast ethernet uh, connections bonded into one could provide you up to 300 megabits per second bandwidth. It also provides redundancy. Since there are many ethernet links combined into one logical channel, in case of any failure, one of the physical link on the ether channel, the ether channel will still work with the remaining links. It, offers, it also load balances your traffic. Ether channel load balances the traffic across all the available links, thereby increasing the efficiency on your switch network. That's it for this session. In my next section, I will discuss about LACP or PAGP. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.